Hey everyone, today I'd like to share this new network I made. Uh, it's really simple and short and small and it gives a quite pleasing result. The main part is we're limiting and pixelating our image and displacing our visual with it. So if we limit this to bigger squares it will get like bigger and we can also make it really small and get this pixelated look which I really like but I mostly like the bigger and rougher version um, as always I will delete the network and start from scratch enjoy now to start press tab and grab a noise um, set the period to five and the exponent to two and a half um, then go to the transform tab and on this tab we can move our noise so if we move this axis it moves left and right and this axis up and down and with this axis you can move through the noise so this is the axis we're not seeing the z axis if you were to view this in a 3d plane um, and by typing abs time dot seconds divided by 10 in here we animate our noise because it's moving through the noise we're also gonna animate um, the first axis and do this uh, divided by 100. Um, then next up, we can change the resolution to 1280 by 1280. And now we press Alt N to connect a null. You can drag this all the way over here. This will be our uh, final node. We can display this to see what we're doing and split our screens. Go to this arrow and choose top viewer, right click on the left display and deselect backdrop tops. Now you can move this however you want that we can see the visual. Now right click this line and insert operator and choose an edge. Uh, set the alpha of the edge to 1, then another edge also to 1 third edge also to one fourth edge also to one and the last edge also to one now from this edge we can connect a feedback and connect a level to this uh, then insert a composite connect this level to the composite and set the operation mode to add. Now drag the composite onto the feedback. Now you can see it starts overflowing, but we can fix that by setting our brightness to 0 0.9. And also just for convenience, we can connect a keyboard in to the pulse of the feedback and this way we can reset it by pressing one. Now after this composite, insert a limit. And this is really where the magic happens of this visual. You can go to quantize and go to the quantize position and put this to round. And now depending on what value you put this at, we get the different pixelation. So I'm gonna leave this at this now, it doesn't really matter. Then insert a displace top here and connect the limit into the second input of the displace. Now this gets quite intense. Uh, after this displays, insert an edge, uh, drag this a bit over, uh, insert a feedback here, connect a transform, a level, insert a composite, uh, connect this up to the composite, choose add, drag the composite onto the feedback, and we can use our initial keyboard in on the pulse so we can reset this. Now choose a level of 0 0.8 and drag the transform just a bit down to 0 0.99. Um, now after this composite insert an RGB key to make the background black. And now we need a level and we can give it a bit of contrast this is also to your liking. If you drag this all the way up, there won't be much left, but just a bit can make it a bit 
less gray and we can also give it some brightness now we can go back to our limit and if we manipulate this value we get really cool results and you can also play around with the feedback loops like if you were to change this it's gonna zoom in and you can also give it some uh, rotation uh, whatever you want if something in this tutorial was unclear make sure to leave a comment and ask your question or go over to my patreon and download this file it's available to all my uh, tiers so the download link is right there and i will see you next time thanks for watching